always wanted to raise my own chicken. Buying a quality product in the store, first of all, is very expensive and you still don't know how it was treated, how it was raised and the kind of feeling that you get when you hold your own produced food in your hands and have it on the table and you see your family eat of that food, it, there's just nothing that compares to it. When I was first looking into raising pasture broilers, I was looking at Joel Salatin's methods and then I found articles of farms here in Sweden who had tried to implement this and who had stopped again because they said that it wouldn't work, they had high mortality rates. So I contacted Joel Salatin on Polyface Farms in Virginia and talked to him and he said, listen, you go for it, people are lousy at actually doing this the right way. Remember, if it has been done, it can be done, and he encouraged me. At that time, I also found Ridgedale Permaculture here in Sweden, the same climate as I have, and they were raising broilers on pasture. It was my dream to start a pasture broiler operation and be able to sell these products and be able to just produce this healthy food for others and, first of all, for my family. I'm so excited to have this going. It has been working great so far. The broilers are doing great and I'm very excited to see this developing and soon to have the product in my hands. It just feels like home. It's so fulfilling. It's a, been a dream of mine. So today the broilers are four weeks old. They have been on pasture for two weeks. The first two weeks of their life they were in the stable, then I put them out on a warm sunny day. So I want to weigh them today and just see how they have been growing and how they are doing. So I have them out here on this pasture and the years of healthy, good management for my pastures over the last few years, it has just paid off and we have just seen a, a explosion in biodiversity and insects here on the farm. And so there are so many insects that these guys are getting and they love the grass and it's just very exciting. So today they are four weeks old and I've been wanting to check on them, how they are growing. Obviously there are some differences in sizes, but we're gonna butcher the bigger ones at eight weeks old and the smaller one at nine weeks old. And we just wanna see where they, where they are at right now. So I just brought a scale and a bucket. I'm gonna get a couple birds here and weigh them. This bird is 1,180 grams. One thousand ninety-five grams. One thousand three hundred and thirty-five. One thousand three hundred thirty-five. So I just weighed a bunch of them and the heaviest one was 1425 grams after four weeks. The lightest one was 1095 grams and they ranged anywhere in between there. 1180, 1335, 1295 and so on. And I'm pretty okay with that. They could be heavier. But the biggest reason why they are not is because I logistically right now can only keep one feed for layers and for the broilers and it's right now the layer feed which is lower in protein a few percent lower in protein than the broilers would normally eat and I know that that is not the the best thing right now but I'm totally happy with it they are growing well they're growing fine and i think they can compensate for this lower protein feed a bit with the insects that they're getting on pasture so i'm very happy with the results they're strong they don't have leg problems because of the right management there are a ton of details that go into this with 
when you put them out, how you put them out, how to design these poultry pens, what kind of feed, if you have to supplement with something and so on. It's so, so much about how often to feed them, how much to feed them. I have all charts, calculations that I go after and I've been very happy with how this has been going so far. If you're interested in learning more of this yourself, I'm working on material that I have needed to research myself and learn over the last years, looking on YouTube, on the internet, reading books, just spending lots and lots of hours and on the internet researching the information and then lots and lots of hours, you know, trying to implement it and learning from mistakes. This is not my first time having chicken tractors out on pasture. I've done this for several several years now. But I just wish that I would have had the information available for me at one spot. And that's what I'm working on right now for a lot of you guys, for homesteading in general, for the different aspects, the different areas on a homestead to just combine combine it and offer it for you guys to learn and to just dive into it and to learn how to do this yourself and fulfill your dream and arrive at your home how you want to what you want to do and you know create a home and and feed your family the right way maybe create an enterprise that you can earn money with so very excited about that if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me what you would like to have in a course like that, swedishhomestead at gmail.com. So hope I will hear from you and hope you're excited for diving deeper into this whole farming homesteading thing with the material that I hopefully will be able to offer this fall or winter. So thanks guys. Thank you for watching today.